Hey everyone, welcome back to my painting tutorial part two. Once again, I apologize for the two part tutorial. I just had to break it up into two parts due to the sheer size of the tutorial. So I ended the last tutorial by finishing up all the golds, as you can see here. I then painted all the smooth wiring on the model enchanted blue. And I painted all the other wiring on the model uh, red. So I started off with a red gore and then I highlighted again with blood red. His outside clothing will be white, so I started off with a foundation color of denim stone. This color will be a great foundation color for white clothing. I also painted all the skulls on the model denim stone. Um, one of the shortcuts I tend to use when painting a lot of skulls is just to paint with denim stone and then do a quick uh, wash. I then gave his clothing um, a watered down Devlin mud wash. Uh, don't worry about the detail necessarily, as you can see in the pictures, it didn't come out perfectly. I then gave the skulls the same wash by watered down Devlin mud and then highlighted them with bleach bone. Next, I built up thin layers of skull white starting at the base and working my way upwards um, on his clothing. This is a really simple way to build up a lot of detail um, on, the, on the clothing very easily. I painted the gun, uh, like the armpits of the armor, and the handle of the sword, uh, Chaos Black. For the eyes, I started off with a Mordian blue, and then I highlighted the center of them with ice blue. After finally highlighting the armpits using Codex Grey, um, I would turn my attention to the banner itself. I started off by painting the book and the banner the same way as the other browns, with a Kemri Brown foundation highlighted by bleach bone and then a light Devlin mud wash after that. I painted all the parts that would be yellow uh, snake bite leather, which acts as a great foundation color for all the yellows. I then followed up with a yellow highlight um, with the color uh, Sunburst Yellow. And finally I painted the book and the sword Codex Grey. I highlighted the sword with a 50-50 mix of Codex Grey and Skull White. So that's it. Um, the model is basically done. Overall I have to say that I'm pretty happy with the way I painted it up. It's pretty detailed model and uh, I think I did a pretty good job on it. You can see some natural shading in the outside clothing and here's what the final product of the four sword looked like. I made its own rocky base as you can see here and glued the model on it. If you want to know how I made the base for this model just check out my rocky base uh, tutorial. And here's just a couple more pictures of the model on top of its new base. Um, overall, I really like its final appearance, and I would definitely recommend anybody who wants a fun challenge picking up this model and painting up the new resin version. And that's it. Thank you to all you amazing people out there for watching my videos. Feel free to subscribe to my videos and leave comments below. You can follow my blog if you'd like at paintingwithj.blogspot.com for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. And most importantly, remember to take your time, enjoy yourself, and have fun.